Uh, Higgs boson is asking, are some Iranian nationalists really want to try Zoroastrianism? I'm going to read this differently. Do some Iranian nationalists uh, really want to try Zoroastrianism? I know there's Parsi ritual, which involves consuming cow urine. Will they be up to it? I've never heard of a Zoroastrian ritual where people drink cow urine. Also, a Parsi, the Zoroastrian community that people refer to as Parsi are in India, not in Iran. Parsi in Iran means Farsi. Farsi is referring to an ethnicity, which I don't even know exists anymore. In, in India, Parsi refers to Zoroastrians. Uh, and in India, Pars in India, isn't it the Hindus who drink the cow urine? I don't know. Do do actually there are there Zoroastrian communities that drink cow urine? I if if there was, I would probably have heard about it by now. Um, because I've been looking for things to attack Zoroastrian on. Somebody in the live chat, okay, Shreyash is saying Parsi community might have been influenced by Hindus, by the Hindus. Yeah, I don't think, guys, I, I, I honestly, like, I don't want to defend Zoroastrianism because I'm actually looking uh, for stuff to attack Zoroastrianism on, but I don't think Zoroastrians drink, drink cow urine. I mean, not, not at least not anything um, that is in Zoroastrianism. Nice. I know Hindus do. I know it's within Hindu scripture. Traditionally, nope. Mixture of pomegranate juice. No, they don't drink. Okay, they don't drink cow urine. I don't think so. Okay. Um, anyways, for the Iranian nationalists who want to go back to Zoroastrianism, to answer your question, they don't have any idea about what most of them, a lot of them, actually, let me be more accurate, uh, don't even have any idea about what Zoroastrianism is, is about. They don't know the teaching. They haven't re read that Avesta or any other um, of the Zoroastrian scripture. They don't know the history. Okay. They just know Zoroastrian, Zoroastrianism is the religion of Iran before Islam took over. That's all they know, and that's good enough information for them. You know, I mean, they're like, "Oh, we Islam sucks. We are Iranian nationalists. What's the OG religion of Iran? Zoroastrianism. Say no more. I'm Zoroastrian now. Okay, like what? Ask, ask them. What is Zoroastrianism? And like, uh, oh, the religion of the Prophet Zoroaster. Yeah, gotcha. Um, and like, okay, what does it teach? The only teaching of Zoroastrianism that a lot of them might know is Goftaranik, Pandaranik, Kerdaranik, which is the one of the dumbest um, lines. Like, okay, so this is what the religious one of it's one of the dumbest religion teaching religious teachings I've ever heard. Like people that's like, oh, what a beautiful religion! It has three commandments. What are the commandments? Uh, Goftaranik means say good, okay. Uh, Kerdaranik do good. A uh, pandemic means think good. Oh, think good, do good, say good. Whoa, wow, what a beautiful religion. The what is good? Okay, because well, guess what? Islam also tells you to do good. Okay, the problem is what do they consider good? Because just telling people to do good that doesn't make you a beautiful religion, right? It's a uh, I mean, Zoroastrianism is extremely misogynist. It's extremely anti-woman. It has it has wife beating verses. It has more extreme wife beating. Okay, Zoroastrianism's wife beating verses is more extreme than Hinduism and Islam. The last time I checked, if I remember correctly, right? So like, wait, what do you mean? You said do good. I'm like, well, this is good. <laughs> You're like, oh crap. The oxymoron, it says, Iranian wannabe Zoroastrians are like way of life of Hindus. Yeah, no, they're ridiculous. No, they're actually even more ridiculous because they have no idea. They just, but at, at least, at least like Hindus, uh, they know, like they know what, what you know, something about 
drama, his story, some things about. I mean, also Hinduism has like good meditation techniques, right? But and you could do meditation, and meditation is useful. But Zoroastrianism, they're like they have no, they what they like is the aesthetics. Just like the branding, they're like, okay, I just know these are the symbols, and I'm just gonna get a necklace of with Ahura Mazda or like or whatever that thing, uh, whatever that thing is. Um, wait, is that is that what is that thing is called? See, I don't even know. Yeah, Farvahar. Yeah, so they're just gonna get like a Farvahar necklace, um, and. That's it. They're like, oh, I'm Zoro I'm Zoroastrian. And by the way, they actually the people who are actually Zoroastrian, a lot of them are annoyed by this neo Zoroastrian polit because their Zoroastrianism is political. They're becoming Zoroastrian to make a political statement, and is it might it causes Zoroastrianism to become a major issue. Oh, I Atheist Republic needs your help. We have been the target of many legal attacks by Hindu nationalists ever since our founder Armin Avabi blasphemed against Hindu deities. We have retained legal counsel to help us defend our access to our community in India. We have started a fundraiser that will help us afford to tackle many legal issues, including judicial harassment and censorship. Whatever you can contribute will go a long ways in helping us in this fight. Link in the description below.